Well, uh, for the last almost 50 years, in all European and in all the world, we are using pap smear. Huh? You are used to it, you know it, pap smear. But if you look to the latest European uh, report, there are only 12 countries who have a successful pap smear program. So there is a definite problem with pap smear. It's a good program, good screening program, but very few countries have a successful implementation of pap smear. Why? Because it has a very low sensitivity. It can take only 60% of the cancers. Why? Because it has a low positive predictive value and a higher false uh, negativity. So even if you say that your pap smear is normal, you cannot reassure your patient. Your pap smear can be normal in this laboratory, can be abnormal in the other laboratory. In the recent 20 years, there has been enormous research on HPV DNA, which is much more objective, much more subjective tests, and all of them can be, you know, automated in a centralized laboratory. Uh, then you don't have any intra or inter laboratory variability. And of course, you don't need to use manpower, which is which was a very big problem in the pap smear program. In the pap you, you, you need a dedicated pathologist. And then uh, the sensitivity is 95% compared to 60% of the pap smear, and negative predictivity is four times higher. What does it mean that every country, whatever the resources are, can easily implement HPV DNAs with a good triage test, and you don't need to go pap smear every year. Instead, with good negative predictivity, you can make HPV DNA uh, once in each five years. Thanks to the WHO NEEV director that has uh, called uh, for a NEEV elimination program. The aim is to decrease the incidence of cervical cancer under four per 100,000 in the whole world. And the program definitely has just two, two main pillars. One is vaccination and one is screening. At least 70% uh, of the target population will be screened by HPV DNA at least two times per life. And 90% of the ladies will be vaccinated when they are age 11 to 12. So a combination of these two policies, which is vaccination plus screening, will, is expected to, to eliminate, to eradicate even, all the cervical cancers in Europe, in the world, until the end of this century. So all countries, all scientists and all societies should give hand in hand and support WHO initiative in this respect.